In this video, I'm going to go over a quick way to keep track of products that haven't been selling throughout your inventory. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into our product. And if you had variants on, you'd want to do it in your product.product, .product, so your product variants. We'll just do it in our product here. We'll create a new product. We'll call it product A. Let's do, let's just do product test. Fill in some of this. Okay, so we have our product test and we want to keep track of the last time this product sold. That way we can run a report on our product products list in order to see what products haven't been moving. And this is the simplest way I've came to do this. So we're just going to create a new date field and we're just going to call this last sale date. So we'll do last sale date. And by default, this will be blank, no date. And what we'll do from here is add this last sale date on the sale order line. So in sales, we'll create a new sale. We'll go to edit list view and we'll relate we'll bring in a related field from our product. So we'll do related field, product template, last sale date. Now by default, this is going to be a read-only field. So what we want to do is go into our more settings here. So we're in developer mode or debug mode, and we're in studio now. So I'm going to click more. I'm going to go to edit and uncheck this read only. And we'll go back into that sales order list view. We'll check this and make sure that it is now not read only. So we can edit this value. So the next thing we want to do is create an automated action that automatically fills in this last sale date with today's date. So now we'll go into automated actions. So we'll search automated actions on the dashboard. We'll do a create last sale date. We'll do sale.order.line, which is sale order line. We'll say on creation. We're gonna update that last sale date. And we'll do it based on a Python reference or expression. And we'll say date time dot date dot today. And that will automatically fill in that line with today's date. So we'll create a new sale. And we'll add our test product. And we'll save this. And you'll see the last sale date gets updated. We don't necessarily need to see that, so we can hide this field if we wanted to. So we can go into edit list view and make this invisible. Confirm our order. And now when we go into our inventory, products, we can do a report, so we can go to list view, we can filter by, we can add a custom filter, we can go in studio and add this to our quick view. So we'll go into our search, we can add last view date or last um, sale date. So we want to add a filter. Um, so we'll just do last sale date and then we'll so let's go to list view. We'll go to last sale date. And now we're going to add a filter and say the last sale date is, uh, we'll do less than, so it was before. And maybe you wanna check the last sale date 
maybe six months or two months and you'd be able to filter this and say you know if it hasn't been sold since November 1st 2021 show me a list of products obviously I don't have any products in here but we can manually edit one of these products so we'll say um, our test product we'll just manually change this to be last sale date is November 1st and then we'll do a filter that says last sale date is before or equal to 1101 so it's going to show us all the products that haven't moved since 1101 that way we can maybe run a sale on these products reduce the price or do whatever we want to do on these products in order to get them out of our warehouse.